in Siegfried's Motor Works here today. We are on vacation in beautiful Destin, Florida. We have, um, this is actually a scooter we sold. Uh, my brother-in-law bought it. And so it is on vacation with us here. But anyways, 2005 Yamaha Vino 125. If you're familiar with our videos, we did a video on this one. It was the most average scooter that you can buy. Uh, Vino 125s. So, we did a performance modification to this thing, which is... Let me... I'm pretty sure I have the box under here yet. This We did this uh, Dr. Pulley slider kit performance variator on, the, uh, on this Vino... And then we also did a set of Dr. Pulley sliders. One or two. Um, I don't remember what gram sliders they are. So I'll look that up. I'll put that in the description. I'll also put a link or um, a description, whatever the part number is, for the variator kit as well. Um, super, super, super worthwhile modification that you can do to the Zuma one or the sorry the Vino 125 so this is just gonna be a quick little banger video just to show you guys about the Vino 125 Dr. Pulley variator mod this is a Dr. Pulley full Dr. Pulley CVT build um, we didn't do anything to the clutch it's not really needed um, I'm sure did you get a little bit more out of it but it wasn't anything that we felt was necessary uh, like I said, we did the Dr. Pulley hit, which is, I believe they call it, like, the high-intensity uh, variator, which, if you're not familiar with scooter transmissions, the variator is your front pulley. It's what holds your roller weights. Um, it's in the front there. So that is all Dr. Pulley now. The variator, the sleeve, and then also the, uh, the rotating plate. And then also, too, we replaced the stock roller weights with some Dr. Pulley sliders. But either way, it is the best money that you can spend on a Vino 125. What's up, Superman? It is the best money. Best, 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 best money you can spend on a Vino 125. Uh, it takes this scooter from being just like any old scooter. And it really puts it into a world of its own. Um, a little backstory. So, my sister was looking she wanted a scooter uh, I had at the time or I should say we at Siegfried's Motor Works at the time had a 09 buddy 125 for sale it was let's see here follow this Porsche okay Okay, we had an 09 Buddy 125 for sale. Had like 180 miles on or something stupid like that. Super, super, super low mile scooter. Um, we had that for sale. She loves pink, loves, loves, loves pink. So she wanted that. We needed a scooter for my brother-in-law so that way they could both have one. Um, we were working on this Vino. Figured, you know, the, the, the Buddy 125 is actually loosely designed based off the Vino 125 so we figured hey it'll be great they should perform pretty equally um, no problem however once we put them together and I think it's solely due to the weight I don't think it's anything horsepower related I don't think it's anything torque related I don't think it's anything where you genuine makes a better product than Yamaha or Yamaha makes a better product than genuine anything like that I think it's solely due to the fact that the Buddy 125 is such a light scooter compared to the Vino 125 but that buddy would just smoke this thing everywhere it went. Um, Kyle and I, Kyle at the shop, if you watch our videos, you're familiar with him. But Kyle and I are, especially at that time, like we were like almost identical weight. Um, we're fairly similar in height. I'm a little bit taller than him, but we were almost like dead even on weight. And the buddy would just smoke this Vino. It didn't matter, uphill, downhill, flat. Um, the buddy would just smoke. They had the same top speed, but acceleration, it just wouldn't keep up. So we had to do a little bit of, uh, 
looking and we found this Dr. Pulley. We know Dr. Pulley makes a really great product. Uh, we've always been super happy with them. So we, uh, no, my parents. <laughs> um, so we did this Dr. Pulley modification to it and it made such a difference as far as the performance goes. Now a couple of things if you're looking to do this after you watch this video. Give yourself an afternoon because Yamaha on the Vino 125 decided to make things suit your life super difficult and to do any kind of CVT work on the Vino you have to drain the oil because they have a sight glass built into the CVT cover. Great job Yamaha. I know you don't make the scooter anymore and thank God you don't because of that but super stupid design <laughs> but um, yeah so because like when we went to do this uh, we completely had forgotten about that aspect of it like I think we had 20 or 30 minutes set aside at the end of the day and went to do it and yeah it was a lot more than a 20 or 30 minute job I mean it wasn't a three hour job but it definitely wasn't the 20 or 30 minutes that we had planned on it being um, to do a CVT build on this thing quick uh, but either way, so Dr. Pulley's sliders, um, it just makes this thing such a more responsive scooter. Uh, has a lot more pull on the low end. I can't honestly say what it did for the top speed because it's been cold. Like, it's snowing in Pennsylvania now. I haven't had this thing done long enough to ride it back home. Like, we literally did this just to come and bring it on this trip so that way we could test it out. Uh, but acceleration is absolutely killer on this thing in comparison actually we will go out on the um i think up here i can get out to the big road the big road so if you're watching this i will put whatever time i'm going to end up on the big road if you want to skip to that if you want to listen to me mumble on about vino 125s and my likes and dislikes keep watching otherwise go to this minute and you can see the big road where we'll do an acceleration pull and a top speed run on this thing but uh i'm a big fan of vino 125 i honestly got am uh and a couple reasons for me being a big fan of them super super comfortable um the most comparable scooter to a vino 125 that isn't Chinese or Kimco is <clears throat> the Buddy. I guess the Buddy Kick would be pretty similar to this. Um, the Buddy Kicks would smoke this thing for sure, though. Um, the other one would be obviously the Buddy 125 from Genuine Scooter Company. And the Buddy 125s share the same chassis as the Buddy 50, the Buddy 170. And it's just not a very comfortable scooter for taller riders. <clears throat> the floorboard's super small. And not small like, oh my, just small as in compact. Um, like, it, it rounds up. So actually, like, here, my feet are flat. But on the Buddy, my feet would be like this. So I end up sitting like this. The Buddy 125 just isn't the most comfortable scooter. And especially if, like, if you're looking at a Vino 125 or a Buddy 125, the, the Vino 125 is hella more comfortable than the buddy um looks wise they're okay um i can definitely see how the vino wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea how it could be looked at as being a little bit ugly one thing that i wish yamaha would have done would have been to do a more conventional styled scooter with the vino i this is fine for me especially on a scooter it doesn't honestly bug me that much because you're never really going that fast it's not like a motorcycle where you can be doing 90 to 100 miles an hour at nighttime and you need to be able to have the light turn with you. But this light being stationary, I mean, it looks nicer, but it definitely isn't as nice for riding. Um, having a light on the bars definitely, I like it a little bit better that way. Dude, I have no idea where I am. So full, oh, okay. This is the highway? Yeah, okay, sorry. So, I'm on vacation at Destin Ford. It's the first time I've ever been here, so excuse my non-knowledge. Okay, so this is accelerated. Wide open throttle. 
acceleration you can see it um, this is impressive if, if you own a Vino 125 that's completely stock you, you know that's impressive watching this thing rip through there so we're up to 45 on the top speed and I don't know if the air pressure on this tires are completely full either so that could be another factor here that we aren't taking into consideration but 50 mile per hour top speed I'm also tall too and it's I'm going into the wind a little bit so the top speed could be a little bit more than this yet okay so it looks like 50s about it so I don't know what this thing did before I have I, maybe I even have to watch my own old video that's in the link below and whatever but 51 ish maybe 52 who knows Should we tuck? Oh yeah, dude, the tuck gets it. The tuck gets it. <laughs> okay. So 50-ish, like 52 maybe. I'm sure you could get 55 if you had enough room on the top speed. Um, I don't know what this thing is supposed to do. Stock. Uh, the whole point of this is though, my brother-in-law and my sister, they don't ride this scooter on highways they are strictly riding it like in basically they could have gotten away with 50 cc scooters they just wanted to have the ability to have the extra cc's if they needed them so the acceleration on this thing is was the was the critical component because he just was tired of getting smoked everywhere he went by my sister on a pink scooter so but even mid-range like that's weird Drown of 40 and rolling back into it. Like this thing picks back up to 50, no issue. This Range Rover. This is a pretty capable scooter now, actually. Like I don't hate this Vino 125 anymore. Not that I hated it before. Oh. Uh, uh, so it's definitely a very capable scooter in, in comparison to what it is bone stock. Um, and there's some tuning that could be done to that setup. Oh yeah, we're gonna cut through there. There's some tuning that could be done to this to uh, to give it that little bit of extra on the top end. And there's always room for improvement when you're tuning a scooter. Um, this literally was the CVT kit out of the box into the scooter set of Dr. Pulley sliders that we looked online and kind of gotten a consensus for what worked best and that was it we didn't do it we didn't you know sit there and tune and tune and tune and tune and on a Vino 125 that would be a super pain in the butt to do because of how they have that CVT design done so I don't honestly for a minute I'm not going to honestly tell you guys that this is something we're going to work on because he's happy with it, we're happy with it, and this is basically what it's going to be. So, either way, Dr. Pulley Variator, Dr. Pulley Sliders on an 05 Vino 125 with 4,000 miles makes a hell of a difference in the acceleration department, and we are super pumped about it. So, if you're looking for a little bit of extra pep in the step of your Vino 125, this is the way to go. But either way, thank you so much for watching. If you can, hit the subscribe button. Hit a thumbs up on the video. Hit a thumbs down on the video. It doesn't matter. YouTube treats them the same. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the Vino 125 video. We just did a ride video on the Zuma 125. And we did a ride video on our Stella with a side card on it as well. So... New videos drop every Wednesday at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. maybe. I don't know. Wednesday, some point in time, new videos drop. Hit the bell. Stay up to date with everything going on here at Siegfried's Motorworks. But anyways, thanks again for watching. And we'll catch you guys on our next video.